hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd film a nice little vlog today because I haven't vlogged in ages. I really, really miss um, vlogging. I've been doing quite a lot over on my Instagram and filming lots of IGTVs and whatnot. So I feel like I haven't done as much YouTube content. So I thought I'd film a little day in the life video today and also a little bit of a catch up. So I feel like the last time I properly spoke to you guys was literally over on our weekly vlog back in April. So that was like literally our lockdown um, weekly vlog. So it's been quite a while. So today is Monday the 6th of July and as you all know the lockdown restrictions are slowly easing now. We're literally able to go to bars, we're able to go to like restaurants and pubs. Um, us personally I, I don't feel comfortable going out on whatnot yet. Um, I might just leave it a couple of weeks but yeah it's been a very very strange couple of months also work wise i started to get a little bit more busy now as you would have seen over on my instagram um so yeah i thought i'd do a nice little daily vlog today and do a little bit of a catch up um and where we are russ is currently at work he is still literally on furlough um because the gyms aren't opening till probably a couple of weeks so we thought the gyms were going to open before the restaurants and the pubs um but for some reason it's gone the other way around so obviously russ is really frustrated now he just wants to get back to work um but he's gone into day to try and get some stuff sorted and um, to put all the social distancing measures down um so yeah he's been back at work today i think he's gonna be back about one o'clock lunchtime um it's just gone 12 o'clock now i've just filmed another video for youtube this morning um and just got ready hugo is literally just sitting having a munch on his breakfast over there he's literally just eating his breakfast at 12 o'clock with lockdown he has got so lazy so i've got my bed sheets in there that i need to watch haven't you? He has got so, so lazy. Like he won't get out of bed in the morning. He's eating his breakfast at five past 12. So yeah, he's literally just living the lockdown dream. And I think that he has been really good to be fair. Like now that sort of Russ is at work, um, cause normally I'd be upstairs filming and then like Russ and Hugo are just like chilling on the sofa, watching films and TV and YouTube all day. So obviously he's been very sport, had lots of cuddles, but now he's sort of a bit clingy. So it's trying to then train him back to not being as clingy. And um, we've also popped out a few times as well and left him on his own and he's been absolutely fine. That was one of the things I was really worried about with lockdown was obviously us being at home all the time and obviously French Bulldogs are very needy and very clingy breeds I was like oh my god like he's been coping so well on his own we've been out for like I don't know five hours and he's been fine on his own how is he going to go back to that but we popped to Ikea the other week which was like crazy we queued for an hour and yeah he was absolutely fine um, so yeah we are slowly leaving him on his own again just to sort of get him back into a routine because I feel like we're out of routine like I'm really struggling myself to get up in the morning and so is Russ and because Hugo lies in it literally makes us lie in um so yeah it's been a bit of a crazy one really but what I'll do is as well Hugo is just scratching the door to go outside so I'll quickly show you a little update of our garden um I know I mentioned on my decorating vlog from the office that we were doing our garden up so it's not finished yet but I thought I'd show you a little quick insight of how it's looking so far and yeah a little update really so here is a little look at the slabbing so far so Hugo's on his leave because it's all like mud and everything over there there's been bags of cement as well lying about so I've just sort of kept him on the lead to go to the toilet so he really wants to run free but as you can see look how big the patio area is going to be so obviously it all just needs cleaning and um, we also need to do like the grout as well in between and um, we've also got astroturf coming this week which we're super excited about he goes like oh my god astroturf no you're not going on there it brings all the dust into the house so obviously all this bit here is going to be astroturf we've also got a bag of turf sitting in that bag which we've got no idea how we're going to get rid of it and then the back corner bit over there as well we're going to do like a little um just here we're going to do like a nice little feature um so yeah super excited to get this all done but these slabs are really really white um you can't really tell because they're quite dirty and they all just need cleaning off but they're really really nice and white but it's absolutely massive like just look how it also goes a bit down the side don't look down there it's such a mess um but yeah it goes all here and then into this corner here and then we've got the other side of the garden as well which is going to be just for hugo and which is a bit of a mess at the moment but yeah we're super excited to get this all finished um and obviously try and get some furniture if we can i know a lot of garden furniture chair has been sold out because of everyone doing their gardens during lockdown um yeah here goes poor boys constantly on the lead but yeah we're really really happy with it and also we've also got some fence paint as well so we're going to do the fence um paint all the fences because we've sort of run out halfway um so yeah the garden's only half 
painted. Um, so yeah, excited to get all that done. There'll be like a full garden transformation vlog as well coming. Um, we just gotta get this bit done, paint the fences, and we're also sort of holding off on what furniture we're gonna get. Um, Cause I don't know if we can get any this year. So yeah, it's sort of up in the air. And this has been, took about, I think we've been doing this now for just nearly a couple of months. Um, obviously we had my brother come and lay the slabs. You can see now the sun has just come out and look how bright it is. Like it's gonna feel like holiday once it's all done. And it also gets really, really warm. Um, so there's Hugo sitting there. We've also got, it's gonna be pet friendly, um, AstroTurf as well for Hugo. Um, just so it doesn't get too hot and whatnot. And it's good to clean. But yeah, my brother did an amazing job on the slabs. Literally, it's only his second time slabbing. And obviously with the pattern, and um, there's quite a lot of slabs here. It took a few weekends to get it done. Um, um, and also we had all the cuts this side as well which is going to be the hardest bit and then also these beams here we're going to have a nice little um, pergola and um, put over the top here so this is going to be a nice sheltered bit i'm trying to make it a bit more private because as you can see we are quite here you go come out come on I'm trying to pull him out the mud um, as you can see we are quite overlooked we've been a new build and the sky is very very black over there i want to try and shoot some photos this afternoon and look at that sky and i'm like oh my god Please don't rain, I need to stay dry. So yeah, that is the garden and how it's looking so far. I have also had a really exciting delivery come over the weekend. Um, so quite a while ago actually, before lockdown, I went to an event um, with Shark Hoover and basically we were getting gifted a PR product to try at home, um, to review. So obviously I have a new Shark Hoover here, which I'm so, so excited to show you. I'm so, so excited to Hoover my house because Hugo's hair is everywhere excuse the paint on the floor we still need to get that off and change the floor and hold on he's off um so is my dressing room door open yes i've made the mistake of leaving the door open again so hugo come on out straight away look Oi. <gasps> get off honestly excuse the mess of this room stop it you're so bad for yeah this room is an absolute mess come on it's a mess come on out come on shoe oh what's your head you she said she just banged your head then come on shoe out out, come on. He's constantly like, I literally went up to go and get my um, camera tripod and I was sitting at the door behind me, hence why the doors are all shut. Cause he's just robbing at the moment really, really bad. His new thing to start seeing as well is the TV remote. And you can see him there, look, hello. Yeah, his new thing at the moment that he keeps stealing is the TV remote and putting mobile phones off charge. So yes, you've escalated. You're seeing expensive stuff now, Hugo. So yeah, that's his new thing. It's really, really naughty. You're cheeky, aren't you? Since having his operation as well. What? Give me a back chat. Since having his bow ass. Look at him. <laughs> what are you doing? He's such a funny little, little character, honestly. Um, but yeah, since having his operation and his bow ass surgery, um, which I've just filmed this morning as well. So once it's on film, and gone live, I'll link it above for you. But yeah, he's got so much more energy. He's also been castrated and he's naughtier. The humping has stopped, he's here now. What do you want? What are you doing? Oh. He just wants to play now. I mean, what? what's with the lip? So like, play with me, play with me, play with me. Oh, it's gonna bite me now. Don't bite, me. bite, you're gonna fall down the stairs. Don't play on the stairs. Stop it. Honestly, you know. I mean, this is what I have to do with all the time. You're gonna fall off the stairs. Are you serious? Should you go and get your toy then? Should you go and play with your toy? Let's go and get my toy. I'm sure he'll come and help me unbox this shark hoover because he likes to eat cardboard and rip that off. Come on, get me a toy then. Come on. Little monkey. So I'm going to just show you the shark hoover. It's Hugo behind me. He's running around there. He's going to be after this cardboard. Do you want to see the new hoover? This is to get off all your pet hairs. It's the pet one as well. Um, so this shark hoover is the anti-hair wrap. Um, I went to the event and literally, no, like when you hoover, like I know our hoover upstairs, my hair is literally wrapped all the way around. And this is the anti hair wrap. So it's got this new technology that stops that from happening. So, yes, I'm very excited for this. And the, the power on these hoovers was amazing. Um, our hoover was only a cheap one. We got it when we first moved in. 
and yeah we're just going to keep that hoover just to hoover the car out with and whatnot but yeah i have been so excited to get this and it's also got a chargeable battery as well um because i always find that with hugo's hair i have to really really hoover i'll hoover half the hair so it tends to long to hoover downstairs that the battery's then dead and um, so i wanted a dual battery and um, so i can have one on charge and then i can do it all in one go because not half the time the battery runs out, I'm like, oh, I've got to wait an hour for it to charge, and then I don't finish off the rest, and vice versa. So, yeah, that's why I opted for the double battery. So, let's get this out. The box is upside down. There we go, Hugo. Oh, <laughs> is there anything that Go and play in the box then. i leave Hugo just to... He'll just play in the box now. You get stuck in there if you go inside, look. Cardboard keeps him entertained. <laughs> yeah, is he? Can you see him? Here you go, you're gonna get stuck. Oh, he's in the. <laughs> Have you got the camera? This is so funny. Look. Oh. What are you doing in there? He's actually stuck in the box. Yes, you're stuck. <laughs> what are you doing? See, all the toys in the world are French in a cardboard box. I mean, you don't need any toys. You really, you're just going to shred it now and there's going to be cardboard absolutely everywhere. So yeah, here is a look at the Hoover. Oh my god, I am so excited. It's got this amazing flexology as well, so you can literally just fold it down. It goes underneath um, furniture and whatnot really easily. It has the pet hair removal tool as well and up to 18 minutes run time and two batteries. So this is the anti-hair wrap. So as you can see, this is what my Hoover looks like now. It's literally all my hair is all wrapped around. I have to cut it all off and then Russ always moans about my hair being stuck in the Hoover. Um, so yeah, this has this tool um, that has like silicon and it stops the hair from getting wrapped around um so yeah i'm really really excited to hoover up so i'm gonna get this all out and i'm gonna put this on charge hugo is having an absolute while of a time with this box look at all the mess he's there scratching what are you doing i can just see his little bum he's having an absolute he's gonna try i think and eat through the box so he can come out the other end hugo so he's managed to eat through the rest what are you doing <laughs> he's eating his way through the other end of the box sorry the washing machine's on in the background i'm sorry if it's all noisy but look at him little devil he's having, a <laughs> he's having an absolute while of a toy <laughs> you, can, you, can you get out i think he's made a big enough yay hugo hall he's out <laughs> you are so funny yeah. Look at that mess. Are you going to help me clean all this up now? With the new Hoover, no? Look at all this mess now. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you. The washing machine has just finished. Um, but I want to put all my bedding out. But literally, one side, it looks literally black outside. And then the other front, it looks blue. So it said it wasn't going to rain today. Um, but I might just wait till the gets back. I'm just going to put my pillowcases just on the area. I just hate not being able to do hang washing outside because um, it's been raining like all week. So yeah, I'm going to wait a bit. So let me just start opening up this shark hoover bag. I've just tried to do a little tidy up of the cardboard and it's just started ripping it up again. Um, so yeah, I'll get everything on it and do like a little unboxing for you and then put it on charge. I think it needs a couple of hours to charge the batteries up. Um, so yeah, I'll quickly get this all out. So Hugo is still eating the cardboard. He's got a little bit of cardboard. And he's, are you going to give it me? No, it's just a game. So yeah, let me unbox this. I'm just so excited. I've literally always wanted a shark hoover. Um, they're just absolutely amazing. I'd love to get as well when we get a bigger house. I really want like a nice shark mop or mop shark um, steamer. It's like he's like, trying to fight with me now because I'm not chasing it. You. you can eat that cardboard. I don't care. It's just it's what I mean. It's constantly again. Ow! Do you want your bone? <gasps> Do you want your bone? Eat that instead then. That tastes nicer than the cardboard. Honestly, like having a child. So yeah, let me get this all out. So it's got all its little bits in here. So as you can see, the colour is like a maroon colour. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice. How nice it is. Ooh, I'm so excited. I actually get so much more excited over getting like PR products and samples. Um, then clothing. I just love when I get home stuff from my house. Like it just, yeah, it's just amazing. And like these hoovers as well, like will last like forever. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. This is really, really like sturdy. So this bit, I just need to build it all together. 
another feature that I love as well, um, it literally has, when I went to the event and we tried out the Hoovers, there's different power settings. So you've got a power setting here that's for carpet. You've also then got a power um, setting that's for barefoot. So that's like for like wooden flooring and tiles and it's got off, but it's also got like a boost mode as well. So it's that extra boost. Um, you know like when you have your hair dryer and you're blasting your hair off and you want that extra boost mode, it has that as well. Um, but yeah, the suction on this is amazing. When I tried it, it was so strong. Um, so let's see if I can put this bit all together. So that bit goes in there. And then we've got the Hoover head here as well. I'll show you the hair wrap. So if I bring it up to the camera, as you can see here, is the anti-hair wrap technology so you can see all these bristles that sort of sit here and there's this little silicon and then this silicon then when you're hoovering stops the bristles like if the bristles pick the hair up the silicon then knocks it off and um, if that makes sense and also this is really really soft um but there's also this bit here as well but yeah like it's amazing it's also got a nice light on as well on the front um just these two bits here so then you can see any hair so if you miss anything um so i know once i, I need to hoover really bad um, I literally, I'm constantly hoovering and I just feel like I'll hoover all Hugo's hair and then like French Bulldogs, they just shed so much hair. Like, I don't know how he's not bald. This is super, super heavy. That goes in there. As you can see, this is a flexology bit. So it's got like a little, I don't know if you can see, this little button here. So that's like a lock and when you click it, that's when this folds. So when you do underneath your furniture and it clicks back up and then do that and it just pops back in so so clever like, even like getting under my tv unit um i can literally bend and go under but i'll do a proper video on this because i wanted to do a nice um review for shark as well um reviewing this hoover because i've just wanted this hoover for such a long time and yeah i wanted to do like a nice little video like that for you so as soon as it's live i'll link it above in the cards for you as well as in the description um but yeah oh my god also hugo's investigating in there Leave it, don't mess with it. It would be work so well, let's say if you've got like sofa, like we've got our chair that's on legs. Um, see, I've got to move stuff around, you can actually just put it right underneath. Um, perfect, yeah, like a sofa on legs as well. He's literally, I'll show you, he's literally waiting for the Hoover to turn on because he always has a battle with the Hoover. What are you doing? It's not on yet. It's not, you go on, eat the cardboard instead, it's not on yet. There you go. <laughs> Let me pop you back on there. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the little accessories. I think they might be, yeah, the batteries are in here. So there should be two batteries in here. Leave the Hoover, Hugo. Well, there's one here. Oh, the other one must be in the Hoover already. Yeah, so the battery's already, is that in that bit there? Yeah, so the one battery's already on. So this is the spare battery. Um, as you can see, it's quite big and again, quite weighty. So I wonder if this is going to charge. I want to charge it all up first before I use it to make sure it's got a nice full charge and then I can just blitz the house because it needs hoovering because of your hair, doesn't it? These are the petals, sorry, here you go. Um, these are the heads in here as well. So we have a little here as well, which is really good. So yeah, this is the battery holder to charge. As you can see, it's got a little silicon um, suckers on the bottom so it doesn't move anywhere on any surfaces and then you can just place your batteries in there you've got the double holder and then yeah pop it on charge that's really handy I love all these tools that come with it I'm literally so excited oh look at this one that one is very very fancy I mean I'm not even sure uh, no I'm not sure either no you're not having the I'm not sure Hugo I think this is it's a really really soft one so I don't know if it's like for like dusting Oh, it does twist around as well. I have to read the manual. That's not that. This, this one's just a normal head, um, which we put for on the stairs and whatnot. And then I think the, the charger is in here as well for the battery. So I'm gonna go and whack this on charge. Then we've got this little nozzle here as well. And then, yeah, that one's like I said. This one is just you can use on stairs and whatnot. So these are just like the standard brushes. And let me show you the pet head. Because the pet head, yeah, it's here. When they showed me this at the event, it had um, the silicon on it as well. So it's like a little mini version of what I've just showed you. So this is the anti-hair wrap pet head. So it's good that this has got the anti-hair wrap on as well. So say if your dog has really long hair, with Hugo's hair, it's short. Um, it's my hair that gets wrapped around. But then if my hair gets wrapped around, his hair then starts to stick to it. So if you've got a long haired dog, it would get round, wrapped around a normal hoover as you can see it's got the silicon in here as well as well as the anti-hair wrap technology um but stop trying to rob i don't know if you saw from the corner of the camera there he's just a thief 
Um, but yeah, that is the little pet head. That's for you because your hair gets everywhere. I'm going to keep this little box actually and keep them in the box um, just so they're safe and away from Hugo. How this pops off. Uh, oh, it's got buttons at the side, so it should just... Oh, there we go. Really easy. Just slides off like that. It's not alive yet, Hugo. Hugo loves to chase the hoover, so this is definitely going to be a experience. Um, yeah, so these just slot in just like that. I am so excited for this. Literally so, so exciting. Don't need that cardboard, do we? There we go. All good. So they had a bit of charge already. You can see they're just flashing at the side there. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to let them both charge up. And then I can have a little quick look through this manual um, just to see about all the heads and stuff. Hugo's gone to some way in the sun there. You're going to leave me alone there. There's, there's a bit of sun, you can see, on his bed in the kitchen. Can you see? He's just sitting in there. So obviously with this vacuum as well, it comes with a five-year guarantee. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to start using this. So I'm going to read the quick start guide, um, see how long it takes to um, do the batteries and whatnot. Um, it's also got on here like how to do the flexology, which I quickly showed you. I don't know if you can see on there. It's also then got how to empty it and everything as well. So I'm going to leave that in the drawer so we can get to it. Because I'm always, with hoovers like this, I always wonder how, even our hoover upstairs, I'm like, how do I get it off to empty it? But I think it's just this popper here and it just should just come off. I won't take it off yet. Um, but yeah, it is quite heavy so so heavy so it's gonna be a workout doing a good hoover round so yeah i'll let it all charge up and then i'll show you and we can try it out yes we have sunshine so i'm gonna go and put all this new bed in it and i've just chucked hugo in there because he's just been naughty and run off with my mobile phone like butter would it melt honestly so naughty so i'm just gonna have some lunch now so i literally was like what should i have for lunch but i forgot that me and went to a little bakery yesterday and we got this it was had his last night so we've got a nice little you can see a yummy cinnabon in there so i'm gonna have that for lunch because why not and um, the sun has finally come out now so just put all that washing out and then i'm just gonna wait for us to get home and um, what before he gets home i'm just gonna edit a video and their yeah, fingers crossed that it stays sunny so i get some nice field photos later for my instagram and yeah hugo's just having a nice little sunbathe now so i'm going to eat my lunch and then chill with hugo while he's having a nice little sunbathe so i thought i'd film a little behind the scenes so as i'm waiting for us to get back i thought right okay i'm going to do a little shoe picture for instagram my audience i have on instagram absolutely love my shoe pictures and i really wanted to do a nice new one so i thought i narrowed it down to some summer favorites and i thought right, okay i'll use this nice light here now obviously Hugo has just decided to flop there on the blanket as well. Um, so I have to shove him out of the way. But I'll put a picture on the right hand side of what it looked like when it was all edited. But yeah, I just absolutely love creating photos with natural light. Um, with the sun as well. And obviously oh, I just love all these shoes. So these ones here are from Marks and Spencers. These are from H&M you would have seen before. And um, those ones are there are just from River Island. They're my June ones. My absolutely beautiful dad sandals which I love. Um, these are the famous mango sliders which everyone's just gone wild for. Um, um, I love on Instagram and then I've got my rope sandals that are from H&M so yeah I thought I'd do a nice little shoe picture for my feed so the battery is pretty much charged now so I'm going to give everywhere a hoover and um, it also locks as well when you stand like that so it locks so it doesn't fall and you just put your foot going on here and do that but see if it's going to turn on it's got a little bit here which is the pull for the extra power uh, and then obviously this is your on and off so let's give this a go and it literally like I am literally barely moving this so we can see Hugo's scene but it literally the suction is amazing and you can see this is what I love about these hoovers can you see those lines like there's something just so satisfying about those lines so as you can see it literally just pulls me across and it's just sucking all those hairs off so yeah, this is absolutely uh, amazing. I just love the lines it leaves on the carpet. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how much I get up um, when this is finished.
really like love these lines like this is amazing like literally this is really really gross this is actually really gross me out but look at all the dust and that it's picked up and um, it's so much better and stronger than our other hoover but yeah look at all that grim dust and all hugo's hair like our hoover literally never used to pick up dirt and dust like this like i'd absolutely love shy you can see all like hugo's hair in there with my hair i'll also show you the anti-hair wrap as well as you can see there's no hair or anything wrapped around there so yeah hugo's having an investigate now um don't bite the hoover but yeah i'm literally so impressed with this i literally can't wait to hoover the rest of the house so russ has just come home now from work and we're just trying out the new toy of the hoover we literally can't believe how much dirt sorry hugo that plane is picking up that, that is literally just off doing this bit so it actually makes us feel a little bit gross now um, but obviously the carpet as well, like it's heavily walked on here. Um, but yeah, just look at those lines. But you can feel where it's picked up, like it actually feels like newer carpet, and it's not something like it's hoovering it, but it feels like. Obviously, it's just our other Hoover, yeah, wasn't that good. Um, it was only, only it was a Hoover brand. We just got it literally when we moved in. Um, but we're going to use that one for the car, like I said before. So Hugo does this every time we're hoovering. Um, but yeah, and we just love. If you do the if you do the clip again, so it shows you the it's just like a little clip at the back, the flexology, and it just bends, and then you can sort of go underneath furniture, um, really really easily. It's so good, literally so good. Oh, it's picked up something there. I just can't believe how much dirt it's, it's getting up, just... and it just yeah pops back up. So we'll empty that all out as well and just do a room at a time and do the dining room. Um, but I just love the lights as well because of Hugo's hair. Um, it's not looking to wrap around either. Hugo, stop it now. Don't you bite that hoover? So I've just hoovered everywhere and um, Hugo's been chasing the hoover all around the house. But another feature that I love is that it folds in half like this to store it. Um, it's super, super easy. So I've just emptied it all. I can't believe the amount of dust um, and dirt uh, and hair it picked up. Like it's absolutely, it makes me feel like I don't hoover. Um, so I've just been aged going around with the pet head. The nozzle's really good for getting under the sofa. Um, also I hoovered my room as well and normally when I do my room that the hair is all logged up in the hoover and there wasn't literally a strand of hair so it's absolutely amazing so I'm so happy with it also the battery it wasn't fully charged it was literally on the two bar um, but it literally just ran out before I went upstairs and I've just put the other one back on charge now so yeah that battery is near enough charge so at least I can have one fully charged and then it's ready to go but yeah so happy with it it's absolutely amazing I'll leave the link for it in the description for you but I've always wanted to use and try a shark appliance and yeah I am definitely completely sold and I totally would buy one of these so I'm just with Russ now we're just gonna go and do some photos I've literally just put on this beautiful dress I ordered from Topshop I absolutely love it so I want to try and get some nice fieldy shots for it's, it's still nice and sunny so as you can see the sky is still nice and blue and sunny so we can get some nice field photos we've just pulled up because there's a little field that we drive past we're just going to climb over here and there's some little poppies in there as well and um, so we're going to take some really cute photos in here while the sun is nice and sunny just climb through all of this here so this is a true behind the scenes of taking photos russ is just trying to find a gap <laughs> to go through so we've just climbed through all the wilderness and you can see all the beautiful poppies and it's so summery and so so pretty and um, so i don't know where i'm going to take a photo i um, might have to try and go down one of these paths and go that way or something um, but yeah it's so pretty so yeah we've literally just finished taking some photos now it's so so pretty you can see the sun so i'm just absolutely squinting right now but we've got all the pretty poppies and daisies behind me and yeah i'm gonna quickly go in there because my camera battery is flashing so we have just got home now and i thought i'd show you a better look at this beautiful top shot dress excuse the bedding um, i stripped it off earlier but i absolutely love this maxi dress i love the low v neckline and um, it looks really nice on a necklace like i've got on now um, and this frill as well here is really pretty it's got some really nice toys here as well but again the sleeves are lovely and puffy and then the back is nice and open as well i don't know if you can see but the back is open um, i just really like this really peplum detail i think it looks so nice and so girly and it's very very me but yeah it's so so pretty i just come back and chucked 
put my slippers on straight away. Um, but yeah, we've got some photos. I'm just going to edit them now. Uh, and then I'm just going to get changed out of this dress and we're going to start doing some dinner. So I'm back in my comfies now. I've put my joggers on and I'm going to go and give Hugo some of his dinner because he's not eating all of his breakfast from this morning. He's been a bit fussy with his food. Um, so yeah, we're going to have some dinner. I think Russ has started cooking some dinner. We're going to have the chorizo chicken that we always cook. So Russ is just cooking some food up. So we're going to have it's basically it's from Joe Wicks's book so it's like chicken and um, it's got peanuts in it it's got chorizo um it's also got the mozzarella cheese and yeah it just tastes so yummy it's one of our favorites I'm just gonna feed Hugo Hugo look there's your breakfast from this morning why are you not eating it I need to get him some other food he's he basically he's a bit fussy um so I rotate his food around but yeah He's just a fussy little monkey. If I get a tin of tuna out, he'll wolf the whole lot down. So I might have to just put a bit of tuna on his food. So he eats it all. Won't you? You're sleepy. You sleep. <laughs> so we've just come out in the car now. We're going to take Hugo for a little evening walk. He's like really, really excited to go for his evening walk in the car. And um, we just sort of just take him in the evening time because it's quite nice. It's been quite warm for today. So it's just too warm for him. But yeah, he's ready to go for his little evening walk. on a little walk now as you saw from the panos it's literally this is like right on our doorstep and we just love coming down here it's really quiet there's those like bike trails and people ride the horses down here but as you can see there's literally just no one around and yeah it's just so nice in the evening time so yeah i'm going to end today's daily vlog here guys i hope that you've liked this little daily vlog and um, like i said earlier i really want to try and do more little daily vlogs weekly vlogs and yeah trying to do a little video really um everything in this video like the shark here and everything i'll link it on the description for you um so yeah i hope that you've liked this video if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then finally don't forget to subscribe to my channel so i'll see you on the next vlog guys bye